Hey guys, this is Mark from North 7 Outdoors. Welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to talk about what I purchased from the Badawa Tackle Squat Meet from 2024. Coming up. Alright guys, we're in the tackle room. Um, tackle room's under renovations. So uh, bear with me here. Sorry, I don't have the lighting that I normally have or the atmosphere of thousands of soft plastics behind me. So let's talk about the Battle of Tackle Show. Battle of Tackle Show is my favorite tackle show for like small town or small vibes. Um, it's two bucks to get in. It's the best swap meet that I'm aware of where 50 bucks, you know, you can stretch it. In fact, I got all my soft plastics here for $36, that's 22 bags. So, I mean, it's crazy. I got a couple hundred dollars worth of soft plastics here. Um, you know, it's not super big. They only have 50, 60 vendors, and it was important to go this year because the world's kind of gotten crazy in terms of, like, pricing, inflation, how much something is worth now versus what it was last year. So, it's kind of, I didn't know. So, basically, swap meets are kind of all the same in a sense where I don't think, other than one or two vendors that come to like one particular show, I don't think that, you know, the same vendors run through most of them and whatever the cost that they're selling is going to be, you know, the, the markup uh, for items. So I wasn't really sure how much things were going to cost this year. Uh, so let's dig in. Uh, so I, I got uh, everything from three booths and one booth I just bought one thing for a dollar. <laughs> I don't know, but mostly two booths. Um, th only three booths there were worth buying something from, in my opinion, for the price that I saw. Um, so let's dig in. So first thing here is the power bait. Uh, oh, I don't even remember. It's the Ripple Shad here. It was one buck. I was like, whatever, let's do it. All right, let's dig into soft plastics. Okay. So when I go to a swap meet, I'm looking for a few things. Number one, I'm looking for, um, usually I'll see a price sign. So a $4, or if I don't see a price sign, I look for brands. Like I have specific brands that I enjoy. I enjoy the Berkeley Powerbait Max Scent. I enjoy uh, Gary Yamamoto, and I like uh, Striking products. Those are probably my three brands. I throw lots of others, Reaction Innovation, Missile, Gambler, uh, Zoom, uh, yum. I'll throw anything, but I have my favorites and I have a hierarchy of soft plastics that I like to use. Um, so I saw this purple bag at this guy. He had a, a cardboard box. First person I stopped at, um, I saw it sticking out. He didn't have a price on it. It was like, how much are your soft plastics? He's like, two bucks or three for five. I bought 21 bags of soft plastics from that guy for $35. So, I mean, uh, I'll give you a, a, a viewpoint here. All right. These are three full bags of a Gary Yamamoto Swim Sanko with a little swimming tail, his little craw, and an 8-inch grub, okay? If you walk into Bass Pro Shop, that's $35. So basically, I got the other 18 bags pretty much for free. Um, so, you know, I got uh, Berkeley Max Den Creature Hog. I got uh, a bunch of Rage Tail. Now... Keep in mind they were at buck sixty-seven, and again this is Canadian, so it's like a dollar twenty a bag U.S. Uh, so a few packs like the uh, the Summer Crow Rage Tail here are missing one. Uh, so they come in packs of seven. There's six in each of them. Most of them are full, but some are missing one. Again, they're eight or nine bucks Canadian. If it's missing one, it's not the end of the world. Uh, I'm still saving 80, 90 percent on that. Um, okay, so this is kind of cool. So when I find a good deal like that, I'm looking at uh, the manufacturer, the tag on it, the brand. Um, and this is actually nothing to do with Gary Yamamoto. I got it at home and I was like, this looks weird. Um, so this is actually, I've always wanted to try their product is before my time, but I've heard a lot about them. You can't really buy them in Canada, I don't think. But this is actually the man's hard nose floating snake. And what's interesting about this, because I looked it up and I'm like, that looks like a man. So I had to do some research today. And uh, what's cool about this is that they come in packs of four. They're seven bucks US, so like $10 Canadian. 
And they come in packs of four, and there's like 12 jam packed in here. So there's like $20 worth of soft plastic. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I've got some reaction and innovation, some sweet beavers there. Uh, some of their Magnum Bug here, Bam Across. I think it's missing one there. But again, for $1.67, I don't care. Like, it's still 80% off, 90% off retail. Uh, so that was the steal of the show for me. That was the first bonus that I stopped at. And because um, I feel like the deals are going to be harder and harder to find, I had to stop. I bought everything the guy had. He couldn't believe that I was buying all these soft plastics. But again, uh, I'm not the best fisherman in the world. I do catch a lot of bass. I, I live in a great part of Ontario. You know, uh, there's hundreds of lakes within uh, an hour drive of me. Um, and they're, you know, some are, some are amazing. So, I mean, it's nothing for me to catch 1,500 to like 1,800, maybe 2,000 bass in a year. So, I mean, 20 bags of soft plastic sound excessive, but that's only a, a few hundred bass. Uh, so next we have some, uh, Strike King 6XD here. They were five bucks from the same booth. And I was like, yeah, that's a pretty good deal. Half off the $10 sticker there. And I feel like they're probably like 12 bucks Canadian now. Okay, so this guy, um, so he, this guy has some good stuff. I bought stuff off of him last year. Um, swap me etiquette. Um, buy more, save more. You know, I think that's everyone's general philosophy of life. So he was selling crankbaits two for 30 bucks. Uh, crankbaits are expensive when you get into Jackal. I mean, look. This, look, I like Strike King, but I mean, the Strike King lineup um, for, for crankbaits that run true are probably your cheapest that you're going to find. Like, you can still get an $8 or $7 crankbait Canadian that is tuned right and swim right. I'm not a crankbait expert, but I know enough about things. Uh, so he had some high-end, like JDM, Moresca, higher-end uh, crankbaits, two for 15 I'm like, well, what about four for um, four for fifty? You know, knock ten bucks off. And he's like, uh. And I'm like, okay. He doesn't like four for fifty. What about flash a hundred bucks? So I'm like, okay, eight for a hundred. And he's like, um. And I'm like, damn. Like, usually you flash a hundred bucks for crankbaits. Like, people will knock off a couple bucks. So, anyways, he's like, I can't do it. Um, how about a hundred and ten? So I end up saving. Uh, 10 bucks. So I ended up saving like a dollar 25 a crankbait. So for th for about 13.25 each. So we got an evergreen here. We got a jackal there. Evergreen, uh, some more jackal, the diggle. Evergreen. You know, evergreen is, is a safe assumption. It's like 20 bucks. Uh, so the last thing I bought here was he has this uh, Little box here of Mega Bass and Jackal and whatnot. There's a couple Zed Cranks here. Um, this guy is just adorable for BFS. Um, little Mega Bass Griffin. Um, some uh, Evergreen. Uh, there's actually a little Nye Shine Lure. I'm not sure if this guy is Canadian or not. I feel like he is because he sets up a can cast. Uh, a Spro, uh, and a couple things that I don't know. Uh, another Mega Bass, a couple things that aren't branded. Um, I assume they're probably JDM or pretty, I'm sure they're high quality anyway. So we end up getting this for 110 bucks. Uh, so yeah, that was the Battle of Tackle Show. Again, I don't mind the hour drive going south. I find it's well worth it. Wait in line for 30, 35 minutes. Uh, I was out of there by 9.30. Oh, doors open up at 9. It's always the first Sunday of March. Uh, and it was interesting to see what the cost of, uh, of the going rate of swap meat uh, product is. It's definitely increased. Uh, if it wasn't for the soft plastic guys, uh, it, one booth, it would have been very mediocre. That guy just getting awesome deals. It turned it uh, an okay event to a very good event very happy with it and um, yeah so I'm kind of pessimistic to see how CanCast is gonna go uh, other swap meets uh, things might be going for a bit much with inflation um, so yes battle was first uh, first Sunday of March the best swap meet I'm aware of for 50 bucks you know you can you can have a good time there 
Uh, no real regrets there. I, you know, I, I wish the guy would have played ball with me, but I mean, that's the thing about swap meets. I mean, you know, he did go down a little bit. I did get a couple deals, you know, at the end of the day, to get like 20 mega bass and jackal and evergreen cranks for like, uh, just over like 10 bucks a pop at the end of the day. So that's pretty good. Anyways, guys, this is my Badawa tackle swap meet. Uh, hopefully the lighting is good in here. I had to rip off the light for, for drywall and everything. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. Uh, coming up, I'll have more tackle swap meets. Oh, I couldn't get into CanCast. Apparently it's been booked up forever. So I was going to give away like a free trip on the water for, you know, a customer or something. That's <clears throat> unfortunately didn't make the grade. But uh, but that's okay. Uh, we're in the swap meet uh, area now, or time of year, so I'll be um, purchasing a few more things. Hopefully we get some good deals, and swap meet unboxings will be the name of the game. Every Wednesday and every Sunday I still have traditional videos. I still have uh, tournament videos. So this last Sunday we did... Uh, uh, sorry, we did our, our first tournament of the year, Eels Lake. Uh, won the... Win a good chunk of money there, so that was good. I always start this, the tournament season off right there, solo. Uh, won that, or second place, almost won it. It was very close. And uh, and every Wednesday I'll be doing a swap meet if I went to a swap meet that uh, week. So thank you guys for watching and take care.